Well, hey, y'all. How's it going? It's Lisa from Lisa's Halls. It's Sunday afternoon. It's nice out, and uh, it's a warm, probably about 81 degrees. I actually had to kick the air on, believe it or not, um, just because it's a little muggy outside. But that's okay. It's still beautiful out, and I'm enjoying the weather, and the sun shining, and I'm loving that. Anyway. And uh, um, guess what? Guess what? Mama's doing. She's slipping a little cocktail. Sunday afternoon. Sunday's fun day. Yeah, baby. A little cocktail's not gonna hurt anybody. Well, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It might be Kool Aid. It might be a cocktail. You all don't know. You want? You want a drink? Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you have a little sippy sip. Okay. It's not Kool-Aid. <laughs> Anyways, I'm it's all I'm only playing. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just hanging out with the hubby. Having a little little drinky drink. Mm. Oh, that tastes good. Anyways, so not haven't done much. Had the granddaughter spend the night last night. Had a good time with her. And again, I asked her what she wanted to do and she says can we go to the Dollar Tree and I said <laughs> what do you think I said I said no we can't go to the Dollar Tree because that's boring not I did not say that I said well of course we can go to the Dollar Tree that's the grandest favorite place to go so we went to the Dollar Tree this morning without Papa aka Mike aka the hubby yeah we went to the Dollar Tree I didn't really spend that much but I let her have some money and she had fun with it. Her parents might not be too happy with me. My son might be going, Mom, you let her buy all that candy? Hey, Grandma's my name and spoils my game. I don't care. <laughs> She's going back to your house, son. It's all good. It's all good. Promise you. <laughs> I love it. Anyways, so we had a good weekend. Had a cookout at my son's house yesterday. Loved it. Loved spending time with the family. Him and his wife bought a beautiful home. They love their new home. I love their new home. The girls love their new home. Of course, I had to take those two little precious girls and take them to the Dollar Tree when they move so that I can get them some baskets because they need baskets, you know, to put all their treasures in, you know? I mean, they have to have baskets because, you know, I'm the basket queen. Yeah, I'm the basket queen. I had to, you know, hook them up and get them some, you know, baskets. So Grandma slipped some baskets into the room. So, you know. Baskets. It's the only way to be. <laughs> Anyways, um, Friday night was date night for me and the hub. We went out to dinner and we had coffee and cake. Not, we had cocktails and appetizers for our dinner because it was a special and it was awesome and we enjoyed it and we came home and I of course can't sleep for nothing so yeah we won't talk about that my sleeping issue is just a whole nother battle that I've been battling and I'm sick of it but oh well there's nothing I can do about it oh freaking well you know what I'm saying out there it's just oh well but anyways I have you guys to look forward to and that makes me happy. I'm starting to get used to this. And again, please subscribe if you like my channel. Thumbs up if you like me. Thumbs down if you don't. If you don't like me, don't come back. It's all good. I don't need you here. I'm here to have fun. You know, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, and that's okay. Because not everybody's out there is my cup of tea, and that's okay. I have a few cup of teas that I like that I'm going to put a shout out to. I love April from In a Pinch. Got your back, girl. Like you. Love you. Of course, my little Sarah Woolley from something different. What can I say? I love that girl. And then my girl from uh, Coupons to Provide. Love her. Shout out. Love her, love her. And there's so many other ones, you know. Um, as the old crone dances. I just found her through Sarah. Um, something different. She's a sweetie. And then, um, oh, I'm going to mess this up. I can't think of her name. 
What is her name? What is her name? What is her name? What is her name? I can't think of it. Um, oh, I, I just lost it. I don't remember her name. But anyways, I, there's a few other ones. But anyway, I'm learning. I'm learning. You guys out there, I'll, I'll, I'll get around to knowing who you guys are and things like that. So, anyways, I babbled on for five minutes. So, let's get into this haul. It's not a big haul. It's just a little haul. So, let's get into this, okay? So, my, hun my honey, my husband's new thing now is hiking not just hiking down the trail for five minutes we're talking he wants to become a serious hunter not hunter hiker 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 spend lots of money on lots of equipment because we want to go hiking in the woods okay whatever I guess I don't understand I do know that you know you have to I you know I'm not even gonna go there just some weird stuff you gotta do when you're out in the woods so I said, honey, I need this ramen noodles. Apparently, if you break these up really small, you can eat these when you're out in the wilderness. And it's good for you, apparently. My kids love these when they were growing up. They're not good for you. There's so much sodium packed into these bad boys. But I guess Mike wanted them and he has the money in this household right now because you know I told you I'm on disability right now so that's what he wants that's what he gets the king gets what he wants anyways next item Mr. Mike wanted was these Jeff in a cup am I doing this right no this way Jeff in a cup um, I love these things I use them all the time but he just realized they're something new he can bring these are protein packed little cups of peanut butter. Um, he can bring some crackers with him. I use them for <clears throat> celery and peanut butter, things like that. Crackers and peanut butter. Love these things. They're really, you know, um, good to have for something quick and easy. Got them too. Something like that. Let's see, like a Rubik's Cube. Do you... There we go. Ding, 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 ding. I just won the prize. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Um, oh, I think this came from In a Pinch. Must tell you, you told somebody that you like these licorices. So I got two, and they're very good. They're nice and soft. I love them. It's already cracked one open. Thank you. My girl April from In a Pinch. They're soft. They're very good. Yum. Okay, back to my addiction. I just can't get enough of these little energy um, nuts. They're so good. Very, very good. I will tell you this much. Don't fall asleep eating these things. Because if you do, you drool down your white t-shirt. It makes a big mess. And now I can't get the scene out. Just thought I'd let you all know that. I know it's gross and disgusting, but it's a fact. Anyways, back to one, two more food items. It's not food, but it's drink items. I found these. These are the Skinny Waters. Orange Cranberry Tangerine. Zero calories, sugar, or sodium. I love these things. Especially if they're ice cold. They are very, very good. I just love them. I don't like the other flavors. I love this orange stuff, though. Yum. I would suggest getting these. Yum, yum. Let's see, what else? Okay, so, Hubby says to me, Hubby never wears, a.k.a. Mike, a.k.a. the king, the breadwinner, whatever you want to call him, the hiker. The hiker, yeah. He says he needs sunglasses, so he tries some sunglasses out, and this is what he comes up with. Yeah, they're cool. What do you think? They're sunglasses. They look cool. I said they look. You look. You look handsome. You look, look dapper. The other thing he said. Oh, he says he needs towels to put in his backpack. That's gonna. You know, he can wash up with. So he goes in the cars department and gets this microfiber auto cleaning towels. They're a bigger towel. Lime green. So we got those. Two of them come in a pack. That's not a bad deal, I don't think. For a buck. Not bad at all. 
So the other thing he needs is these little, you know, those little, um, what are they called, carob binder clips. Found those in the uh, automotive department also. You always can use those. And I know this is going to be silly, but <clears throat> the other thing that Mike does is geocaching. Anybody ever heard of geocaching? It's like a scavenger hunt. You do it through the computer system, blah, 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 and you go out through whatever town, city, village, tribe, whatever you want to call it, and you find... I'm kidding about the tribe thing. That was just so kidding, guys. Ha, ah, ha, funny, funny. Um... And you find little trinkets. It might be a baseball card. It might be a bottle cap. It might be whatever. Whatever these people decide to put. And this is worldwide. I mean, it's all kinds of things. So I got in these little bug buckets. And I thought he could put his little trinket in there and hide these. You know, he gets three of them for a buck. So we'll see how this works for him. If not, he said he can give them to the grandson. I've been on the Dollar Tree kick for the socks, and I got Mike three pairs of socks to wear just for, you know, the summer socks to wear with his shoes. They're nice and thin, nothing, you know, not thin like cheaply thin, just thin so that they're comfortable and not wearing the big heavy sock. So he likes, he seemed to like that, okay? Other thing I'm into, the newest thing I'm into is this um, pocket letters. You're supposed to be able to put them in a regular envelope, but... I just don't see how that's going to work, so I've been putting them in these. So I got some more of these. Manila envelopes. Okay. Washi tape. I need washi tape like I need a freaking hole in the head. Seriously. Houndstooth. Didn't have any. Bought some. Have it now. And I guess this is Valentine. I don't know. I wouldn't use it for Valentine. I use it for whatever. It's hearts. Like it. Love it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the other thing I found was this really cool book. It's called Friendship Cake. It's a novel by Lynn Hint Hinton. Um, it, I read the back of it. It sounded good. It looked like an easy read for the summer. So I'm going to enjoy this book. I hope if I enjoy it. I will do a little quick book review on here and let you know how I liked it. Okay, let's see. Let's get this stuff put back in order here. And I can get on to the next little doohickey here. Excuse me, guys. Almost done. Promise. This is going to be, well, might be short. You guys ever heard of Tastefully Simple? It's where they sell these mixes and things like that, beer breads and different mixes and you make things. Well, I found Key Lime Cheesecake Mix. And on the back, they have a Key Lime Cheese Ball recipe. And that was so yummy. And you serve it with those little tiny graham cracker um, sticks. And... All it takes is an 8 ounce block of, a half of an 8 ounce block of cream cheese, half a stick of butter, mix the two, form it in a ball, and put it in the refrigerator and serve it with graham crackers. It's so good. It's just a nice light summer treat for when you're having guests over. I got two of them, and this stuff's expensive at that. Tastefully simple. So I'll grab two. That's the only other food item I have in my hand. Okay. <clears throat> I'm getting a little cold, so I got two things of cough drops. So I got the uh, the honey lemon and the cherry. Got those. Um, since the husband's going on being a hiker now, I had him pick up these antibacterial moist wipes. They're individually wrapped, so he can use those for his hiking adventures. See what else do we have here? Oh well, let's see. I got these to go with my acne wipes, moisturizers, and cleansers. Cleanses. Love these. I haven't tried them, but I can just feel like I'm already gonna like them a whole lot. So I grab those. 
This next item, you know, I don't really need to go, hey, guess what? We're just going to say it is what it is. Intimate wipes. It is what it is, okay, ladies? No, we're not discussing it. No. We're not discussing it. It is what it is. Okay. Let's talk about this. I... I'm addicted to the owl. You know I love my owls. I, I'm a freak. It's cold pack. Okay? I had to get him. Then my husband pointed out that it's for kids. See? It says kids. Well, I'm a 48-year-old freaking kid, too. I might get a boo-boo. I might want a little frozen something on my boo-boo. He wants to be put on my little boo-boo. Isn't he cute? Look at him. He's adorable. He's going to get frozen and I'm going to get a little bump and I'm meant to put it on my little boo-boo. Darn it all. Had to get him. You know, just, it's just the way it is. Anyways, that's it, kids. That's the whole kit and caboodle. There is no more to be had. I have nothing left. Dollar Tree needs to come up with some more stuff. I mean, I'm just saying. We need some more fun stuff to have. You know what I'm saying? We need some more something. Because I, you know, washi tape can only go so far. I need some more product. Get some more product, Dollar Tree. We want more stuff. I don't really know what I want. I just want stuff. God, I sound whiny, don't I? Big cry. Where's it at? I'm a big kid. What can I say? Anyways, all in fun and games. You guys are just awesome. I love you guys. I hope that you have an awesome day. I hope you have an awesome night. I know tomorrow's Monday, so most of you go back to work. I hope you have an awesome Monday and an awesome week. And just do something good to you for yourself, something good for somebody else. And don't forget to do the snail mail because it's important. It's a lost art. No one's doing it. And I keep in these visions that we're just going to shut down the United States Postal Service because we're not using it. Maybe, you know, I'm crazy. I don't know. But who wants a bill all the time? Send somebody you love or you care about. Take five minutes and jot down a card and say, you know, just thinking of you. It means a lot. That's my soapbox. I just wanted to hop on it for a minute. But you guys all have a nice evening. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.